This is an early 70s Burnie. Um, this is in the 1973 catalogue as a FS40, which I think is probably the lowest model in the, in the whole catalogue, but got a nice guitar. One thing that's going to be annoying is about the place of pickups is um, the two screws at the top. Um, so as you can see, as I said before, I think because of the climate in Japan, things get hardware gets tarnished um, pretty bad. So it takes a bit of cleaning. Replacement bridge. Pops seem okay. These ones are loose. Now I actually plugged this in, and it does all the pickups. Um, it does work, but that's not helping being loose. Um, the frets seem better days, I think this is going to need a refret. But there's an interesting choice of uh, tuning gear, as you can see here. Turn this over. So we have one, two, three, four Greco patent um, tuners. I don't know what this is. Um, it's of a older guitar I think. Uh, no indication as to what this one is. So as you can see it's a bolt on neck and the body um, it's like a pancake body with a bit in the middle. Kind of like Gibson would do with the Les Pauls but I don't recall them ever doing it with SGs. Um, Couple of cracks there, but I don't. Th I don't think it's about to do forty pieces anytime soon. But never know. Um, so that's this one. See, a Bernie FSG forty from likely seventy three or seventy four. Need to try and get the dent out of that pickup cover. Right, so we're uh, getting this to bits. See what's happening. So here's the Burnie and bits. It's my Burnie kick guitar. As you can see, the machine heads. Nice selection there. Old Greco, made in Japan. Truss rod's quite deep in there, but seems to work fine. The neck's very straight. Um, now the issues. These pickups. Um, I've seen these on. The lower line Japanese guitars before it's actually um, wax sealed inside so you can't take the covers off so I'm not quite sure if I'm going to get this dent out uh, maybe just leave it <laughs> you can see solid body though and the other issue that I had was the bloody screw it was threaded that was a uh, holding the sap locking so the only way I could get it off was cutting it so that's a bit of a mess there so that's going to have to be tidied up the machine heads are all off I should have a set of silver uh, Greco machine heads that should fit in that nice headstock mother of toilet seat I presume um, but yeah nice car so here we are halfway through uh, both projects here, so everything's all tightened, all back together, frets cleaned. Um, might get away with. Um, there's one slightly high fret here. I'll get the strings on and check that out. Managed to get an old set of Greco silver tuners. So I've not bothered filling the holes because. Uh, there's enough dents on the guitar, anyway. Uh, that's a rock and roll chicken, in case anybody's wondering. All the electrics seem to work fine. Um, so yes, I'll get uh, get strings on and get that get that set up, and um, we'll see where we are. It's only to work out what I'm going to do with this. Um, one to consider later. Here we have the finished item. Uh, it's looking quite good, in my opinion plays very well, um, sounds pretty good as well, I'm 
pleased with this, pleased with how it's worked out. So this is a 1973 um, Burney FSG 40 with the uh, boat on neck, uh, stock humbuckers. Um, the only thing that's been changed is the tuners and uh, replacement bridge. So let's see how it sounds with a cleanish sound. So I don't hear any fretting out on the high frets on this. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. It stays in tune. No fretting out. There we go. One guitar finished. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.